something special for you. We are going to be doing a therapy session together. But before we start our session, I want to let you know that there's a company I'm partnering with right now. And it's called BetterHelp is an amazing service which I've been using myself. I I never used to talk about my personal life on my channel, as you may notice. But I myself been going through a hard times in my relationship and this service really helped me to get myself together again so I just I'm just thinking that it would be amazing if I would have found this service earlier so that I could have used it with my partner because they also offer a great partner counseling this is just a very good opportunity to get a therapy for those who don't want to or maybe can't access a traditional therapy sessions at the office and of course from my personal experience I would definitely encourage you to give better help a try check the link down below which I'm gonna post I also remember that signing for better help would of course support my channel because we're partnering together and now let's just go to the role play hi nice to see you would you just take place and feel comfortable please So, before we get into details, you already mentioned on the phone that you have problems with your sleeping schedule and falling asleep in general, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so before we get to that, I just need to get some information from you, okay? Okay, so... Okay, so what is your full name, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, and your age? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. 
Okay, good. So, what we are going to do is we're going to try to find out uh, what may cause your problems with your sleep from your daily life. And then we're going to do some meditation. And I'm gonna give you some tricks that may help you to solve those problems. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, tell me, can you say that you feel more depressed the last time? you're going through a difficult phase in your life mm. Do you want to talk about that or maybe later? Okay, okay Okay, then tell me Have you noticed that you're continuing thinking about your problems even when you go to bed? And also about possible solutions. Is that the case? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, so see. This is a big part of your insomnia problems that, that you don't let your mind to rest As you know, we don't only have to let our body rest at the night but also our mind and by thinking about your daily problems no matter if they are your relationship or problems at the job if you're thinking about them when you're about to go to sleep then of course your mind isn't gonna let you sleep okay so of course I'm gonna help you with that and I'm gonna give you some tricks that might help you to abstract from your problems in the daily life and fall asleep okay does that sound good? okay perfect okay first of all let me lighten up this candle so that you feel more comfortable and relaxed. Okay. It also smells good. You want to smell? <laughs> yeah, I love the smell too. Okay. This looking good? Oh, you already feel relaxed. Okay. Okay, let's put it back here. Thank you. 
this is the thing you can do before you go to sleep and all the professionals recommend that the space where you're gonna sleep your bedroom have to be good aired and a little bit cooled so the good thing to do is you just let some fresh air 10 or 20 minutes before you go to sleep does this sound good? okay, can you do that? So, also, I don't know what's your sleeping schedule, but what you definitely should do is try to wake up at the same time every day, every day, and also go to bed at the same time. This can help normalize your sleeping schedule and as follows, you're gonna fall asleep easier What is usually your schedule? Do you get up early? Mm -hmm. Okay So it's pretty much the same every day, right? Okay, that's good and is it easy for you to go to sleep at the same time every day? Do you do that? Mm -hmm. Not always, I see So this might also be a problem that may cause your insomnia mm -hmm. Okay, the next one is gonna be about food this might sound a little bit strange but believe me it has the connection and it makes sense so what you should do is try to avoid having a late dinner or even snacks even drinking water too much because when you have a late dinner, it activates your designative system in your body and your body starts working again and as follows, you have difficulties falling asleep Does this make sense? Okay, see, so, so it's better if you eat like, I would say 3-4 hours before you go to sleep Okay, you will try. Okay, that's already something. Also, do you smoke? Mm -hmm. And do you like drinking coffee? So, and do you prefer drinking coffee or maybe tea? Mm -hmm. We all do right now, but just limiting those stimulating products like cigarettes and coffee may affect your sleeping schedule in a good way because the effect of coffee can last up to 24 hours which as follows affect your sleep yes okay okay those are first steps you can start with Normalize your sleeping schedule I will give you this information printed and You're gonna practice it And I hope the next time We're gonna meet with you. You will have some progress. I promise you you will definitely have So Oh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do some meditation of course 
you can practice it on your own at home every time you go to sleep this is not gonna be long it's just something that will also help you relax okay? okay
Okay. Okay. Thank you for coming. And I will see you next time.